Oh, hi. So I'm going to do another session of tattoo removal with the Neat Cell Blue Light Laser Pen. And I'm going to do the session on this tattoo. I just looked over my videos on what made this one fade so much in little spots like this spot, this spot, and the feet, and um, like right here. And because in one session, after one session it stopped, and that was session number five. And it could be because session number six had the fading. So I looked to see what it was that I had done. And I think it was because I put it at full and full frequency, which is the number one on this one. And I put it on, so it's like more frequently, bah, 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 like that. And, um, I think I did a four out of five of intensity or maybe four out of four of intensity. So I did full and I let it hurt and it hurt badly. You can see on the video session five PJ. I don't know, you know, it's three months ago according to this one, three months from this video right now, from this moment. And um, so anyway, I'm gonna do this tattoo today. Let's give you a better view. There we go. And that's what we're going to focus. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure it's at full intensity or full, I think full intensity, full frequency, and we're just going to let it hurt. Have I prepped the area? Yes. I did with alcohol as I always do. And I did with um, some lidocaine, 5%, and some Bactine, this one. It says uh, pain relieving cleansing spray, first aid antiseptic and pain reliever. Also, on after session number five of this tattoo, I did my after, uh, I think I had also put a little bit of A&D ointment, so I did that this time. That might have been session number four. Um, but definitely on the after of number five, I did some aloe vera for the after care. So I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. I don't know. But something made this tattoo fade more than all of the other times. So that's what I'm going to do is put it on full intensity, full frequency and let it hurt because I know my first sessions, like some of these uh, are at like 11 sessions and barely any thing to show for it, but they are fading. I'm doing all four on this arm. They are fading, but it's just really taking a long time. But my first few sessions, because this pen is so strong, was not very strong. I didn't do I didn't do the highest frequency. I didn't do the highest intensity. So I now see that you see the results better with the highest frequency, the highest intensity. You have to be careful with these things, lasers, that is, um, because who knows what's going on. For example, there is a little red spot here where there never was one. So I now have a spot on my skin that never was. So take that for what it is. Uh, other than that, like the spots that are faded on this one, the spots that are chunks that are faded on this one, like right here and right here, 
it's just like scarred underneath it. So I don't know if I'm replacing these with just white scar tissue. If that's the case, I'm okay with that and I can accept that. Let's get started. So I did alcohol, I did lidocaine, I did this um, Bactine pain relieving antiseptic and pain reliever spray um, and a little bit of the A&D ointment and the after I'm going to do aloe vera, fresh aloe vera plus uh, probably some of this Bactine as I go along, probably some of this A&D ointment as I go along as, as it heals within the next... Um, several days and a couple weeks okay and then i'll go at it again after a couple weeks so let's plug in the there we go that's what it sounds like when it turns on i'm gonna use protective eye equipment set it to one which is the highest frequency oh yes so i did one and four and so highest frequency highest intensity that's what we're doing some people don't believe me that the one out of nine is the highest frequency but take my word for it or google it and it certainly is on the blue light pen it is on the other pen the higher the numbers the higher the frequency or whatever. On this one, the lower the number, the higher the frequency. You know this by messing with it. So if I put it to a nine, it'll go do, do, do. If I put it to a one, it goes do, 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 do. We have some coffee. This helps with pain relief. A fan usually helps with pain relief. I might have to pause it and get a fan. <sighs> And music helps with pain relief as well. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? You can see. All right, let's get going. I can't see what you see. Okay, that's okay. And you want to get it pretty close to your skin. I don't look going all the way against my skin because then the laser, the light of the laser will be so bright here on the inside of this metal part that I literally can't tell where exactly it is on my tattoo. So that's why I hold it a little bit further away from my tattoo. And before when I had it on worse, you know, slower frequency and lower intensity, I also had it way further away from my skin because it burns like a motherfucker, that's why. So I'm going to have it close to my skin so that I can see exactly what the laser is touching, but I'm not going to touch my skin because then the reflections of it all makes it to where I can't see what I'm burning. Right? Right. Entiendes? Vamos. Okay. Shit balls. That's fucking hot. That burns a lot. <sighs> Every time I go through this and I'm like, why the fuck, man? I'm going to put some more lidocaine and I'm going to put some more pain relief uh, spray. Get a good stretch. When you remove the tattoo by laser, what it's doing is it breaking up the particles to a smaller amount so that your body can then digest the particles. So you want to be 
conscious of how much water are you drinking in these times as well to allow yourself to filter these particles out. Shit balls. Fuck. I'm going to get the fan.
so the fan, I don't know how well you can hear me. Yeah. I could turn it off actually. Sorry. The fan helps tremendously. I don't know why I always forget it. The fan helps tremendously. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So I do see some yellow when I look at this white napkin. I do see some yellow like lines because the um, the laser was like kept bouncing off the bottom of my cheeks. You know what? That might be also why I keep feeling like it's like I because I never wear sunglasses or anything. I never wear glasses. I don't wear sunglasses, and I keep having like. Um, it looks like a sunburn or something right here. And I just realized that that could be what it's from, is the laser. But right now, it was the way it was bouncing off my cheeks and hitting, it was hitting my eyes. And so you really got to watch for that. But I'm sure I'm fine. I might be slowly blinding myself, but I'm fine. I'd like to find another way to remove these tattoos because um, it's not ideal, especially with as many tattoos as I have and the placement of them as well. It's not ideal to do this over and over and over and over again. My hopes were very high, especially when this one started really fading the way it was. It helped. Yeah. Overall, do I recommend this product? No. Am I still going to experiment with it? Yes. Do I have a problem if you try and experiment with it? No. I don't feel it's harming me, really. Um, so... I'm going to continue to see what it does, what it can do, and and I'm losing you. And um, yeah, we'll continue to, like I said, it's basically an experiment. This one. Let's get you, hold on. It's more clear. This one, okay, is it not clear? It's not clear. Why are you not clear? My hush, much of my hush. So this one, yes, has, has faded quite a bit. In certain spots there's like chunks of it taken out right here on the arm right here in the middle the feet that spot on right there that spot on right there um, a little bit here a little bit here so yeah anyway I gotta go uh, thank you for watching goodbye